Bus Element Ports make creating and using buses easy. You can quickly create a bus by selecting signals, using the action bar, and turning them into a virtual bus. Inside the subsystem, bus element import blocks are automatically created for you, which leads to fewer signal lines between and within subsystems. You can shorten what's displayed by selecting the block and selecting the action bar and choosing the compact notation option. You can also click on a bus selector block connected to an import block and use the action bar to convert it to bus element import blocks to make it easier to work with and reduce the wiring needed. This allows you to access the bus port elements closer to where they're actually being used and change the interface over time as you're designing it. You can double click on a bus element port block to get to the properties dialog of the port associated with it. There you can change the port name, port number, or set the color for blocks associated with the port. Selected items in the tree are highlighted in the model. The tree view in the properties dialog also shows available and used signals in the interface. The italicized names are unused signals. Color is useful to distinguish different ports or elements. On the output side, you can reorder items and rename elements in the bus in the port properties dialog, and changes will be propagated throughout the model. You can also add more blocks associated with that port using the port properties dialog. More bus element ports can also be added by right-clicking and dragging, and choosing to create a new port or using an existing port. If the input port of your subsystem is connected, you can choose from a list of names. Bus element ports simplify connections between and within subsystems, making models easier to create, read, and maintain.